Hey, what's up? So Flora asks me why uh, Christian Chatham and Christopher Newsom are not well known while Emmett Till is. Just for background, uh, I had to look up Christopher and Christian, and these two were murdered, raped, tortured, and robbed by uh, four black men and a black woman. And Emmett Till, of course, was murdered by many white men and uh, hung. And then uh, Emmett Till's memorably mother had an open casket funeral, which is unusual for that, that kind of violent, like, corpse-destroying uh, havoc. And so that's very memorable to have a mother keeping the casket open. Similarly, Trayvon Martin, it's memorable that he was going out for Skittles and an iced tea. That's the kind of detail that makes something memorable because it's not, it doesn't have to do so much with the murder as just like a quirk of circumstance that just makes, that just makes it memorable. But there's an imbalance here. Emmett Till was one person, this was two people. Emmett Till was not raped, they were. Um, so, so why is there that imbalance? Why didn't I know Christopher and Christian's names while I did know Emmett Till's? And I think the answer is American history. I think because of lynchings throughout the slave era and the era of civil rights and Jim Crow, because of the lynchings there, we are particularly sensitive to white people killing black people because it was such a huge problem in the South for so long. And there were no trials for that, right? And so when white people kill black people, we take notice because it's, it's unusual enough that it, that it's worth taking notice of, but also it's normal in the course of American history. And so we wanna change that history. But with Christopher and Christian, um, the murder was done by blacks against whites. And honestly, it should be better known. It should be better known. And I wish there was a detail like the Skittles or the open casket that we could glom onto so that we could remember these victims. Um, and then lastly, the death penalty should not be sought because when you do that, you make the criminal into a victim. And you, you make my sympathies move, the final sympathies around the issue, move towards the people being killed by the state. And so that's a very bad policy. But these terrible crimes make us want a policy like it. We want to have justice. And when murder arises, justice is the death penalty. It feels natural for that to be true. The fact that it's not true and that it's a, a scourge on our system is hard to argue for in the midst of all these crimes. Anyway, Flora, you wanted that video. I hope you liked it. I'd love to have more comments and discussion with you and anyone else in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.